Alrighty guys, well, welcome back to another video today. So, long story short, we got a lure review today. These guys, if you guys couldn't tell by the title and thumbnail, I've got three of these guys right here. These are Savage Gear Shrimp. Uh, I guess the technical term would be the 3D TPE Shrimp. I've used these only a few times. This is the smallest, uh, I think this is the smallest size they make. This is one of the top four most popular artificial shrimp. That being like the gulp shrimp, DOA shrimp, this guy, and then the voodoo shrimp, four. Um, this is, I think the last, besides the DOA shrimp, the last lure review um, I have to make on these artificial shrimps. Um, there's a few other artificial shrimps out there, but uh, I'll probably only be doing lure reviews on the top four. So technically this is the third of the fourth one, but I am really excited for today. We have some really awesome looking weather. I kind of like this overcast uh calm it's pretty calm right now overcast type of day but i feel like we're gonna get into some tarpon redfish trout snook maybe even black drum but i am pretty confident that this guy is gonna get the job done so i'm gonna take it out rig it up i did get three different colors i don't know the names of these colors it doesn't say it it doesn't say any i don't think i don't think the colors on here but long story short we got two and a half inch and it's three twenty fifths of an ounce so I'm probably gonna throw this guy on 20 pound uh, mono leader. We'll start off with this color. I'll take this guy out of the box, rig it up. And long story short, if you don't know what lure review is, I'm gonna basically fish this lure all day. And at the end of the day, I'm gonna give you my, uh, my opinion on this guy. So that is it out of the box. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm going to throw this guy on 20 pound monofilament leader on my light rod or my medium rod, 2500 setup. And we're gonna go for some redfish, trout, snook, tarpon. I, to be honest, don't know right now, but let's get tied up. All right, and just finished tying up just like that. I thought I had uh, 20 pound mono. I didn't, I only have 30 pound mono, but that is it. That is the Savage Gear shrimp. Good looking shrimp, to be honest. I've used it a few times, so I am pretty confident in it. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get started throwing here. The dolphins have already found me. I swear they just know my boat or know the sound of it, but they found me. Oh, and also these hats, shout out to you guys. We sold out in like 24 hours. I didn't get a chance to talk about my merch uh, since I announced it, but hats sold out, stickers sold out. And the last thing left are these 40 inch snook uh, face shields. You guys can check that out in the link in the description, but let's catch some. Start it up. All right, so right now, I'll walk you guys kind of through what I'm doing. I'm just sitting real skinny, if you guys can see. It's probably like, I don't know, maybe 12 inches of water. Just cruising down the shoreline real quietly, slow, looking for anything that could be sitting up in these mangroves, which could be redfish, trout, snook, tarpon, black drum. And hopefully, when I see them, I don't know what that was, but when I see them, I'll be able to just flick the shrimp in there, twitch it, and bam, hook up. That's best case scenario, but that's basically what I'm doing here. I haven't seen a fish yet, but I will let you know when I do. Oh, there's a fish up there. I think it's a redfish. Yeah, it is. Real shallow redfish, real shallow if I could just make the cast. Where'd he go? Oh, there's another redfish. I got him. <laughs> oh, oh man, there's more reds right here. All right, we got our first fish of the day. Oh man, there's red fish everywhere. This is a little dink, but very pretty fish. I was just saying, there's a red fish right there. Oh, there's another red, red fish right there. I couldn't make the cast at the first one, but hey, we got the second one to eat and he turned on it from like six to eight feet away. That was really cool. All right absolute micro but i'm not complaining that's kind of what i signed up for today catching a bunch of fish check out how blue this tail is i feel like it's really hard to see in in uh on camera but that is a super blue tail really really pretty fish you got a little bit of blood coming out there that's weird i hooked him right in the mouth 
All right, he'll be okay though. All right, simple, easy, first fish of the day. And I'm happy because a lot of times when you're in this real shallow water, fish can be very smart, especially when I'm on the trolling motor. Like I'm not pulling, I'm using the trolling motor in just really inches of water here. Fish can get smart sometimes. So I'm glad that he ate and I'm happy to catch some more redfish here because I saw like probably five or six in like a 20 second period there. What the heck was that? Oh, nice trout, dude. I just made a blind cast out into the mullet here and I just tick, tick, ticking it in and felt a tap. All right, we got a fish. We got a fish, that's a nice fish too. It's not often I get eaten on blind cast, especially in crystal clear water, but hey, he ate the shrimp. Very nice trout too. Well, boys, second fish of the day is like a uh, probably an 18, 19 inch trout there. Blind cast in the mullet there. I've kind of been focusing up in the trees real shallow where I can see fish. And I've been ignoring the big schools of mullet that are out to my right out on the flat. Decided to make a blind cast out there and got thumped. That was a lucky catch there. That's a nice looking trout, but little tiny shrimp in his mouth there. Throw this guy back in the water. Pop that out of his mouth. Spin him around here. Simple as that. All right, two fish down. We need that, uh, we need a snook. I've seen quite a few, but unfortunately snook are smart. All right, we're gonna go pick up and move to a new spot. Rig that up. Now, if you guys didn't watch my last video, I went over this on the fly jack plate. They sent this to the channel and it is a beast for this reason. We're like in a pretty shallow water. If the engine was mounted right here on the transom like it used to be, I wouldn't be able to float, but it's jacked up like eight inches right now. And we'll slide our way off this shallow flat. And then once I get out into deeper water where I can run, I'll lower it down to the like the perfect perfect height for running and uh, we'll head on to the next spot. All right, so we're about good to run right here, so I'll take this, lower it down to about right there. I kind of like when the stickers parallel with this, uh, with the edge of the transom there. Put it right there, and it's time to go. Something just ate right in front of me. Oh, got it. Giant trout, giant. Oh, it's a tarpon, Never mind. <laughs> I thought it was like a 30 inch trout. That's not what I was expecting. I knew something blew up, but tarpon is not what I was expecting. Not at all. Hey, buddy. Might shake it. Might not. I'm actually surprised if I st stick him all the way in. Little tarpon are very good at shaking the hook. Especially because this has a weight on it. This uh, Savage Gear shrimp. All right, come here, bud. We got him. That is our third fish of the day right there. Really, really pretty fish. Shiny, clean. That's a perfect hook set. Perfect, best you could ask for with tarpon. We'll spin him around quickly and send him off on his way. Okay, <laughs> that was cool. All right, well, I'd say that's pretty good. If you can stick 
a tarpon on a lure, I did hook them in the perfect place. But hey, if tarpon can eat a lure and you hold them on. It says some says something good about the lure. So we got redfish, trout, tarpon. We need our snook. That's what we call a grand slam around here. Oh my blow up, dude. That was a big fish. You just smashed a mullet in front of me. Oh yeah, big tarpon, big tarpon, ready? Hit him on the head. Ah! He ignored it. They just blasted. There's two right here. Ah, oh, dang it. Two really nice tarpon. They just blasted mullet right up in here, threw right on them, but my first cast landed kind of on their head. Oh, all right. Oh, we're getting into some tarpon, kind of like I thought. Redfish, trout, tarpon. Um, no, what I was saying was Grand Slam around here, we consider redfish, trout, snook, and tarpon. So I just need that snook now. But those were two really good tarpon. Oh, are these redfish, redfish, redfish? There's a bunch of nice redfish in front of me. They're not falling for it. All right, I don't even remember what I was saying anymore. There's just a bunch of fish right here. Probably because all the bait here, all the baits here, there's tons of mullet. Oh, all right, got off track there. Either way, we're trying to get this Grand Slam. <laughs> Need that one more fish, which is a snook. Oh my, bull red right here. 1,000% of bull red just flicked in front of me. Went sideways to eat something. I'm just gonna post up here until he comes at me. There he is again, he's right here. He's on it, dude, come on. Where is he? That's a humongous red. Oh, they're black drum. Oh, there they go. I know I saw a red fish in there though. I know I saw a red fish in there. Man, that thumped hard. Look at the school. <laughs> I knew I'd get an eat out of there. There's too many of them for one not to eat. Nice fish. Not too bad. I wanted that bull red that I know is hidden in that school of black drum somewhere. I wanted him. But I'll take this guy. That's a nice fish too. Got a stripe still. Surprise, this is a good sized black drum and still has the stripes. Oh. Check him out. Ooh. Oh, we got a... This guy's pretty cool. This is a black drum. You guys are not familiar with them. They're very similar to redfish, but they are dark colored. They got some stripes. They are really cool fish. A lot of times they stay schooled up really thick. And that's how I found them right there. There's probably a school, of, I still see them. There's probably a school of about a hundred and really, really cool looking fish. They're not always very aggressive, but he ate it. So I can't complain. Ate it, ate it, ate it. I was trying to throw at you know, singles, but that wasn't working. So I was like, let me just throw right in the middle of the school and bam, we got him back in the water for this guy. There, oh, there he goes. No problem. 
He already took off. He's already gone. He will probably locate his school again really quickly. I feel like that drumming noise they make is probably so loud underwater. Oh, I just located some tarpon. They're rolling right in front of me. Oh, there's a roll. Roll, roll, roll. I'm gonna try to sneak up on him close enough to where I can throw the shrimp in front of him. Like a string of about 10, it looks like. One's on it. Got him. <laughs> oh, he slurped that. It's one of the smallest ones in the school, too. <laughs> Got him. Big jumps. Shallow water tarpon. Nothing better. Oh, that was cool. There was at least 10 there, and he was definitely the smallest in the school, but I'm not complaining. About the same size as the first one I caught this morning, about maybe three pounds. Nice fish. Big jumps. I'd be surprised if I stick this fish too. Two good hook sets with this lure. Go for the landing. Tarpon are always tricky. He's probably gonna slash, splash the camera. Whoop. No! All right. Think about securing him there. Whew. Well, we got one. This guy's probably three pounds, but hey. I kinda wish the guy the fish that was sitting right next to him that was probably 15 and 28 but hey i'll take this he's probably yeah yeah three pounds little guy back in the water and i usually don't like bringing these guys in the boat but he's little so hold him up to the camera there good hook set right in the top of the mouth best you could ask for so that line doesn't chase you. oh no no oh, there he goes easy release Oof. Tarpon blasting glass minnows. Got one. Yes, sir. <laughs> Big jumps. <laughs> How cool is that? Dude, there's no way I go three for three on tarpon. There's just no way. Surely this one has to jump off. <laughs> Came out right under that dock. I saw him rolling, eating glass minnows under there. We're gonna go for a quick release on this guy. Let me see if I could do this quick. Secured. Three for three on tarpon. How about that? They love this little tiny shrimp. Easy. And that's it. Simple as that, I can't believe I've landed all three of the tarpon I've hooked. All three of them. Is this leader frayed? Eh, a little frayed. Go ahead and cut it, retie it. Redfish right here. I got something. That's not a redfish. Oh, it's a nice trout. The redfish is on them too. That is a really nice trout. What is he doing? I see the redfish next to him. Yeah, look at the redfish. Big redfish, dude. Oh, he just took off. Right in there. It's the nice trout. I threw at that redfish and the trout came out of nowhere and ate it. This is a big trout. Really nice fish. The heck is going on today? It's like really nice. Jesus! It's like a 20 incher. Head shakes like crazy. I can't believe this guy ate. I wanted that redfish, man. But I'll take this either way. Whew. All right. Well, at this point, I'd say we are killing it today. This is probably a 20 incher. I'm gonna go ahead and get him unhooked quickly. If there's a lot of fish out here, please don't bite me. Oh, 
I guess that works. Adios, we are absolutely killing it today. But I did want that redfish. It was about a 30 incher. And then when I hooked that trout, the trout was flailing, flailing around a lot, splashing. That redfish came up on him and looked like he was going to eat him. Maybe if it was a smaller trout, he might have. All right, guys. Well, that is going to do it for today's video. It is starting to get really hot and also getting kind of hazy. I can see dark clouds off in the distance. So I'm going to just, you know, take make the right decision and head into the boat ramp before I'm in a situation where... I might not make it back to the boat ramp. So, uh, this lure, now this is, once again, the Savage Gear Shrimp. I will say it's an absolute beast of a lure. Like, it got it done today. It did perfect in crystal clear water, 30 pound mono. It did a very good job. Now, I had some, I had a hard time catching some redfish. I saw a lot of redfish they weren't gonna, they weren't eating, period. Uh, that's probably not because of the lure. There's probably 100 other factors that go into that. But it did get a black drum to eat it. And that says something. Black drum are very smart and they are usually not very aggressive towards lures in general. They ate that very well. Now I'd say this is like a top two shrimp, this and the gulp shrimp. I like this. Um, I think I like this more for a crystal clear water setting. If you wanna throw a shrimp, I'd recommend this. So a few things that I wish were different about this shrimp, I wish it was a bit heavier. Um, I think it was two inches. I, I can't remember, two inches or something like that. And it was like five sixteenths of an ounce or something. I can't even remember what it what, what the weight was, but it was very light and it was kind of hard to throw, even with a pretty light rod, 15 pound braid. Like I, I just wish it was a tad bit heavier. Maybe they make one that's heavier. I'm not 100% sure on that. So maybe I'm complaining for no reason, but two inch is a very good size shrimp for all sorts of fish. Obviously we got that done today. We caught everything but a snook, which is funny because I catch snook in every video. I mean. I even got a black drum, that was awesome. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments, what is your favorite artificial shrimp? What lure should I do next for lure review? And uh, yeah, I think I'd give this guy a nine out of 10. Great lure overall. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in that next video.